All right, so I'm going to quickly make a room real quick. Go in here, file, new, subtractive level. You can use your level if you want, but I actually I really don't want you to. Whoops, file, new, subtractive. Because I want you to have a single room, single light, and I'm going to have you take notes on this. Do not save. No, I don't want to save. Right click, 1024, 1024, 256, build. Okay, good. Close that out. You should be able to do that very quickly by now. And in here, I'm going to hit unlit and BSP it out. So, the subtractive one. Okay, now I'm going to load by opening. Oops, under generic, file, open. War game, cook PC, maps, SP prison, and I'm going to load you the meshes here. And under six, I'm going to right click and fully load six. And that should give me this gas pump that has all these cool things. And now you can find all kinds of cool stuff like little towers, little buildings, everything is in six. Trust me, six is awesome. Okay, here's my city gas pump. And I'm just going to right click somewhere on the floor if it lets me. There we go. And add the actor. Add static mesh. Okay. Okay, now this is the notes for static mesh. Just kind of push this up to the wall. And go to lit. Ah, got to add a light. Right click, add an actor, add a point light. Point light, static mesh. Hit light, automatically worky. Okay, so it works with the with the actual light source in the background. See how it's got the shadow. Right now, if I was to build this, okay, let me show you what the next window is. See this. This is my like light channel, and notice how the, the actual shadow is disappearing on itself. Okay? Build all. Static meshes are just that. They stay static. You cannot shoot a static mesh. They are not dynamic. But always just about the shadows come out pretty good. Except for when um, you start getting dynamic shadows into the range and then it gets kind of wonky. Oh, dynamic shadow meaning movable light or movable object. Static light, static object. Now you start mixing up the two, it starts really getting kind of cool. Okay, so there we go. Now, if I hit this button, see, I see no light in the, or no shadow in the background. No matter how close I get to it, the shadow is not there. Okay, why? Well, for one, uh, the light is too far away. Two, the background right here does not is not able to accept very well on shadows because on the surface property of it this is my light map resolution and I need to turn it down a little bit okay uh, the further you turn it down the longer the comp time and the slower your map goes but you get shadows okay another thing is when I click on this and then right or double click on it going into lighting which is our static mesh editor static mesh component okay going all the way to the bottom I'm gonna say override light map resolution I don't want to override the light map resolution which I just set here's zero I want it set the way it is so now I'm gonna just build that out
with lighting keep in mind there's a lot of build time there's a lot of debugging there's a lot of uh, stuff just gotta be super patient with lighting lighting can make them break your scene however once you get used to it you probably don't even have to test it you just go in there add your lights add your static add your dynamics know what to turn on on your dynamic and static meshes in order to interact with that light and just go to town okay this time I'm gonna hit close and click the magical button this time you're seeing a shadow appear and look no matter where I go the shadow stays this is a baked in shadow or a, a light map okay what does this do for the level well this makes the level run a lot leaner because it's already got a built-in light map to it okay is the light casting a shadow no in fact the light it, the shadow is cooked into the texture of the wall and that's what's making this go not the light working but this being cooked into the wall is working so what happens if I move the light okay I'm gonna move it one iota over oh it goes away so now the light map needs to be rebuilt see that's that's just the one flaw of it but other than that that makes a really lean level by doing that so that is static meshes and static lighting and how to cook a light map. Okay, those that occurs whenever you get a lot of static items, uh, beer can, bottle cap, computer monitor, anything that you can think of laying around that you're not going to shoot and it's not going to get knocked over. That's when you use this scenario right here when you change the resolution of the wall be wary you don't want to change the resolution everywhere like that remember the um, the shadows don't have to be absolutely 100 percent crisp everywhere just in certain areas where you want your users to go to when you're in a firefight you're not gonna walk up to the wall and go oh that's a really sweet shadow or you're gonna get pwned alright so next I'm gonna cover a little bit something different um, we're gonna look at rigid body and how that works with um, lighting.